improvement or permanent improvement levy yeah. uh, in November, and it stopped all our equipment purchasing and our capital improvements in the school district. And we need to rectify that in the next year, and we're facing some tough financial times. But that, enough of that. Uh, let's talk about some of the really <laughs> good stuff. It's a happy stuff. night. Yeah, it's a happy night. We've had a good, happy year. Our f futures program out of Southview High School saw eight astronauts go into the sky for 72 hours. That was and, great. Yeah, supported by NASA and supported by our community and mostly supported by all the kids and staff at Southview High School. A great night for the Southview, a great week for the Southview kids. Uh, our spotlight industry for Lorraine International this year is, is the Lorraine City Schools. Yay! And uh, we're going to be uh, downtown uh, in, in having booths and we'll be involved in the parade and we'll be out of Sheffield with our booth and there'll be all kinds of exciting events. We just came off of a week's open house uh, where in every school in the district, the community had a chance to come in and, and see some of the great work that's our kids are work. doing. So that, that's, that was a real highlight. We just came off a week of focusing on our community's roots, uh, it, it personified in our lighthouse. Oh, yeah. And our kids are out trying to make a positive difference, helping to raise money for our lighthouse and uh, save that lighthouse. And they're all going to have a piece of it. And I'm really proud of the fact that our kids are involved. Oh, absolutely. A lot of our kids have won awards. Most recently, yesterday, that's, our, pretty recent. that's pretty recent. Our group of the Odyssey of the Mind, which is a real intellectual competition for elementary kids, came from Hawthorne Academy, just came back from world competition mm. and took fifth in the world. Oh. Now, you know, you can't get much better than that, uh, except for the other four places. But I, I think to go there is exciting. And for us to have taken fifth in the world uh, for those high school, junior high kids, I, I'm really excited about that. Uh, Mark Emery, uh, who worked in our futures program at Southview, was named Ohio Teacher of the Year by the IBM Corporation and Classroom Computer Learning Magazine. Oh, uh, a real honor to the school district and an honor to Mark Emery. Uh, Maureen Young, a Southview, another Southview teacher, uh, who's an SBH teacher, was named SBH Ohio Teacher of the Year by that organization. And Mary Miles, you will recall, clear back early in the year, and I know it because you did a lot of the work on it, Wendy. <laughs> Mary Miles, our drug, our anti-drug coordinator, uh, was named Drug Buster for the State of Ohio yes. by USA Today magazine. It's a newspaper on yeah. a daily basis. So, I, you know, it was a, a tremendous thing. And last, I think one of the real highlights of the year is we lost no days to bad weather this year. Uh, I know that that made some people unhappy on one of those days, and, and we'll watch it a little more closely in the future. But uh, uh, I feel good that we had 180 days of education for our kids, and we didn't lose any of those days. So let's finish it off now with a great night for the, for the Admiral King kids and give them a graduation for this wonderful crowd. That's going to be great. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Let's go to the commencement exercises.
Okay, at this time I'd like to call upon Reverend Saith for our invocation of the First United Methodist Church. Shall we stand for the invocation with the class? On this beautiful occasion as we look so hopefully into the future concerning the lives of all of these young people, I'd like to take the words of the psalmist written some 3,000 years ago in the 8th Psalm and put in contemporary words by Leslie Brandt as we pray together. O oh God, how full of wonder and splendor you are. We see the shadows of your beauty and hear the sounds of your majesty wherever we turn. Even the babbling of babes and the laughter of children spell out your name in indefinable syllables. When we gaze into star-studded skies and attempt to comprehend the vast distances, we contemplate in utter amazement our Creator's concern for us. We are dumbfounded that you should care personally about each one of us, and yet you have made us in your image and called us your children, and ordained us as your priests and chosen us as your servants, and assigned to us the fantastic responsibility of carrying on your creative activity. O oh God, how full of wonder and splendor you are. Bless these, this night and the days ahead, this class whom together we celebrate and give you thanks for. Amen. Now I'd like to call forward our senior quartet to lead us in the Admiral King alma mater. Please be seated. Uh, 
I'd like to first uh, ask the audience at the conclusion of the ceremony and after the recessional to please stay off the track. Uh, you can pick up these great students at the far corner of the stadium, the southeast corner. Secondly, I'd like to introduce to you the distinguished people that are behind me. And as I call their name, please hold your applause to the end. Would they please stand? Mr. Love, our athletic director. Mr. Kazusko, our vocational director. Mr. Ruskin, vice president of the Lorraine Board of Education. Mrs. Anderson, member of the Board of Education. Mr. Beckler, business manager. Mr. Kramer, president. Lorraine Board of Education, Reverend Scythe, Dr. Duchesne, Executive Director of Curriculum Instruction, Dr. Lohr, Personnel Director, Mrs. Brumbeck, Treasurer, Ms. Langendurfer, Director of Information, Dr. Buford, Executive Director of Pupil Personnel, Mr. Ferguson, Member of the Lorraine Board of Education, and Mr. Bowen, Superintendent of Schools. A round of applause. It is a pleasure to welcome all of you here this evening for the Admiral King High School Commencement Ceremonies of 1990. In particular, I'd like to further welcome the parents, relatives, and friends of those who are to receive their diplomas tonight. You can be proud of their success on this great occasion. The focus of our high school has been to create an enthusiasm for scholarship, to stimulate a desire to render service, to promote worthy leadership, and to encourage the development of character in all of the students. This occasion honors those students who have enthusiastically and intensively completed their formal education. This graduation ceremony gives recognition to those young men and women seated before us, and they will be remembered as one of the finest classes to have received their education at Admiral King. They have been characterized as being dedicated, cooperative, and hardworking by many professional and support staff members at the school. These traits they will find will be the necessary fiber and strength that is required throughout all of life as they commence upon new challenges that will now lie before them. I'm sure you as well as I wish them luck at the, as they meet these tasks. Honor graduates and service can award to its members. None is considered more important than a recognition of being named to either the service plaque or being recognized as an honor graduate. It is a tradition to have the principal read the list of those seniors in the top 5% of their class in each category at commencement. There are numerous opportunities for young people to contribute to the operation of this school during their four-year high school career. They may earn service points by participation in music, athletics, dramatics, clubs, publications, student council, teachers of office aiding, ushering, concession stand working, etc. Those graduating seniors who of all members of their class have made the greatest contribution to the school will now be listed in numerical order ascending to the person who has the most service points. The students will stand and their names are read. I will ask the audience to withhold applause until all service plaque award winners are standing. The service award winners are Krista Kolvig, Robert Braun, Gerald Proy, Marcy Carrico, Michael Akesey, Holly Roman, Wendy Ross, Carla Riggins, Amy Shaver, Jennifer Ackerman, Don Cook, Todd Phillips, Darren Zubach, and number one, Richard Zaykuda. A round of applause, please. Okay, please be seated. And now to the honor graduates, those scholars who have maintained the highest academic excellence during these four years. This is what education is all about. To have reached this high level of achievement, these seniors have made many sacrifices and have exerted much self-discipline, and we congratulate them for their willingness to give so much of themselves. Sharing this honor certainly are the families of these young people, for they have provided the proper environment within the home so that their children could concentrate on schoolwork. Doubtless mothers and fathers have made some sacrifices of their own as they encourage their sons and daughters to do their very best. 
We are proud of those pupils whose names have just been read as the ones to be engraved on the service plaque. But we are doubly proud of these outstanding scholars whose names will go on the twin plaque to be displayed in the halls of Admiral King forever. The names of the honor graduates will also be given in numerical order ascending to the student who ranks number one in this year's class. Will you please, again, withhold your applause until all students are standing. The honor graduates are Sean Vargo, Melissa Pugh, Anastasia Gorgas, Tomless Nikloff, Darren Zubak, Jennifer Wolak, Debbie Wilson, Meredith Shawanski, Steve Woolich, Alicia Benson, Brian Link, Malik Gatewood, Michelle Thomas, and number one in her class, Amy Marcuzza. Please be seated. Now to the scholarship recipients. A question that is often asked is how well do students do who attend college in terms of receiving scholarships? Tonight for the first time, with the help and support of Superintendent Tom Bolin, this question will be addressed. The scholarship list will include those students already granted and not those that are still forthcoming. Congratulations to the recipients and please stand as your names are read. Will you again please withhold your applause until all students are standing? The scholarship recipients in alphabetical order are Michael Akesey, University of Toledo, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500, First Catholic Slovak Ladies Association, $750, and Vet Scholarships, $500. Craig Bansick, Clarion State College, Dues and Don Scholarship Grant, $700. Alicia Benson, Ohio State University, Ohio State University Prestigious Scholarship, $3,000 renewable. Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, $500 scholarship and $50. Laura Blessing, Ohio State University Dean Scholarship for College of Agriculture, $750. Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. American Business Women Scholarship, $800. Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, $800. Robert Braun, Ohio State University, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Ohio State University Financial Aid Package, $1,690, renewable. Rachel Kelly, Lorain County Community College. Lorain County Community College, two-year presidential scholarship, $3,980. Ohio PTA Memorial Scholarship, $500. Lorain Foundation Scholarship, $800. Meredith Schwanski, Ohio University. Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Krista Kolvig, University of Cincinnati. Financial aid package, $8,110 and renewable. Univers Darren Zubach, University of Toledo. Orrin R. Finley Scholarship, $500. Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Sandra Daniels, Lorain County Community College. Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three-Year Award, $11,400. Darla Dante, Ohio State University. Ohio State University Financial Aid Package, $1,930, renewable. Amy DeAngelis, Ohio State School of Cosmetology. Ohio State Cosmetology Barber School Scholarship, $600. Brian DeMarco. Michigan State University, Michigan State University, four-year football grant aid, $42,000. Juan Diaz, Kent State University, Oscar Ritchie, four-year memorial scholarship, $25,000. Heather Factor, Ohio State University, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, 
Mike Fleury, Ohio State University, three-year Army ROTC scholarship, $24,000. Malik Gatewood, Ohio State University, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer scholarship, $500. Ohio State Honor Scholarship, $5,500 renewable. Rosita Gonzalez, Lorain County Community College. Lorain County Community College, Minority Incentive, three-year award, $11,400. Mike Grumbos, Baldwin-Wallace College. Baldwin-Wallace Financial Aid Package, $9,000 yearly renewable. Sharla Hitchens, Baldwin-Wallace College, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Mike Hutz, Ohio State University, Ohio State University Financial Aid Package, $2,400 renewable. Curtis Irby, Ohio State University, Ohio State University Financial Aid Package, $354 renewable. Michelle Jeffries, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three Year Award, $11,400. Alpha Kappa, Alpha Sorority, $50. Tracy Castle, Ohio State Agriculture Technical Institute, William J. Skull, Academic Scholarship, $2,000, renewable. Deborah Kozekny, Cumberland College, Cumberland College Academic Scholarship, $5,000, renewable. Dusendon Scholarship Grant, $700. Maria Laboy, Lake Erie College, Dusendon Scholarship Grant, $700. Lake Erie College Financial Aid Package, $8,040 renewable. Colin Lewis. Alma College, Dr. Alfred J. Scholarship, $500. Alma Tartan Award, four years, $8,000. Alma Minority Student Scholarship, four years, $8,000. Alma College Financial Aid Package, $8,300 renewable. Jack and Jill Scholarship, $200. <laughs> Anissa Long. Akron University, Lorraine Elyria Alumni Chapter of Delta Sigma Theta Scholarship, $300. Brian Link, University of Pennsylvania National Achievement Scholarship, $2,000. Amy Marcuzza, United States Military Academy at West Point, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Appointment to West Point, four years, valued at $225,000. <laughs> Michael Matejcik, University of Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati Financial Aid Package, $5,779 $5, renewable. Janet Medina, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three Year Award, $11,400. Ralph Carey Mettler, University of Akron, Akron University Financial Aid Package, $6,300 renewable. Matthew Mishik, Kent State University, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500, Kent State Financial Aid Package, $3,140, renewable. Deborah Malero, University of Finley, Spanish Bilingual Four-Year Grant, $4,000, University of Finley Financial Aid Package, $550, renewable, Dues and Don Scholarship Grant, $700. Anissa Neely, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three Year Award, $11,400. Alpha, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, $100 scholarship, $50. Cyril Nolan, Grambling State University, Grambling State University Four Year Athletic Grant and Aid, $13,264. Valerie Overton, Lorain County Community College, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority, $50. Jeannie Patterson, Aquinas College, Spectrum Minority Scholarship Award, $4,500 renewable, Aquinas College Financial Aid Package, $3,300 renewable. Todd Phillips, West Virginia Wesleyan College, Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500, West Virginia Wesleyan Financial Aid Package, $7,900 renewable. Jeanette Rico, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three Year Award, $11,400. Angel Rodriguez, John Carroll University, 
John Kerry University Scholarship, $5,000 renewable. John Kerry University Financial Aid Package, $5,736 renewable. John Carroll University Corporate Intern Program Grant, $1,000 renewable. Wendy Ross, University of Akron. Fort Purnell University of Akron Scholarship, $3,000 renewable. Willie Shaw, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive, three-year award, $11,400. Nikki Simmons, University of Akron, Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Scholarship, $250 and $50. Stephen Sturgill, Heidelberg College, Heidelberg College Financial Aid Package, $5,200 renewable. Rick Saikuda, Heidelberg College, Heidelberg College Financial Aid Package, $8,038 renewable. Michelle Thomas, John Carroll University, John Carroll Presidential Scholarship, $4,000. John Carroll American Value Scholarship, $2,000. John Carroll Alumni Association Scholarship, $1,000. All these are renewable. Albert G. Lozier Scholarship, $500. Hills Department Store Scholarship, $1,000. Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, $800. Joseph Todd. Kent State University, Oscar Ritchie, four-year memorial scholarship, $25,000. Sean Vargo. University of Akron, University of Akron Academic Scholarship, $500. Alicia Williams, Ohio State University, Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Kanasha Williams, Lorain County Community College, Lorain County Community College Minority Incentive Three Year Award, $11,400. Debbie Wilson, Ashland University, Ashland University Presidential Scholarship, $2,000. Ashland University Scholarship Test, $5,000, both renewable. Do's and Don Scholarship Grant, $700. Ohio Board of Regents Scholarships, $1,000 renewable. Jennifer Wolak, University of Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati Financial Aid Package, $246, renewable. Dr. Alfred J. Lozer Scholarship, $500. Anthony V. Thomas Scholarship, $500. W.L. Larson Foundation Scholarship, $1,000. Lorraine Foundation Scholarship, $800. Steve Woolwich, University of Akron, University of Akron Honors Program Scholarship, $1,500 renewable. That represents our scholarships, and I'd like to, for the audience to know that the hard work paid off to the tune of $618,847. Okay, please be seated. Okay, I'd like to have our three speakers please come forward. Okay, I'd like to call upon our superintendent, superintendent of Lorraine City Schools, Thomas D. Bowen. Thank you, Dr. Coleman. And I don't know uh, how the rest of you feel, but this is one gang with whom I'm proud to be associated. I want to thank the parents and a very caring community, which is support which supported the schools and particularly Admiral King High School during the four years that these students were in Admiral King and during the 13 years they've been in the Lorraine City Schools. I'd like to let you know that this graduation is being broadcast live on our own Channel 36 WLCS and will be rebroadcast tomorrow at noon and again at 5 o'clock p.m. And now there are just 17, count them, 17 short, short points that I want to make to the graduates. First, I want to tell you, we love you. That's a simple enough idea, but we want it on the record in case we haven't told you lately or you haven't listened lately. Secondly, my second piece of advice is for you to clean up your own mess. Yes, 
we know you don't want to hear that, poised as you are on the verge of this great adventure, but the life lesson is twofold. One, you can't know yourself fully unless you clean up your own messes. And whether you do that in the laundry room or in the kitchen or the office or the boardroom or on the job site or in your personal relationships, you have to pick up after yourself before you can understand yourself. You need to live independently and then call yourself an adult. Two, it reinforces the reality that living is work just as a job is work. Number three, look, listen, think, think again, and then argue. Yogi Berra said, you can observe a lot just by watching. Just watch. <laughs> Pay attention to what's going on in the world around you. Listen to what others are saying. Get in touch with your own thoughts. Stand up for what you believe after you've thought it through. Number four, practice makes perfect, but not always, and that's okay. Put another way, anything worth doing is worth doing badly. You won't be great at everything. In the beginning, you may be lousy at it. Keep trying, and maybe you'll get it right. Maybe not, but you didn't fail by trying. Move on. Number five, value is not the same as price. Most of the things you will eventually value most in life will have nothing to do with money, so keep your perspective. Six, follow your heart as much as your head, at least. Listen to your heart as you make choices about how to invest, invest your life. Find work you love, as it's too much a part of you to be something to dread. Do your best, not only because your work is worth it, but because you are. Seven, invest in personal relationships. When everything else is wrong, it's our good personal relationships that make everything else seem not so bad after all. But to have such relationships requires respect for yourself. Develop a healthy self-respect in order to really love somebody else. Number eight, don't be in such a hurry. There is a tomorrow. There's always a what's next in life. Number nine, hard work doesn't always pay off, but it's the only thing that ever does. Nothing good happens that isn't the result of hard work. Sometimes things don't work out quite right, but if they're going to work at all, it's because we worked at it. Number 10, be of good cheer. Good humor makes all things tolerable. You're in a great danger of taking yourself too seriously in the next few years. Remember to take time for a good laugh now and then, especially at yourself. Number 11, be convinced of your priorities. An elderly Kentucky woman put it this way, if I had my life to live over, I'd relax. I would start barefoot earlier in the spring and stay that way later in the fall. I'd ride more merry-go-rounds. I'd pick more daisies. Don't come to the end of your life wishing you'd picked more daisies. 12, seek a balance. Success is not a goal, it's something that happens on the way to a goal. Lasting personal relationships are a necessary part of the balance. Your pension alone will not keep you warm in your old age. Number 13, a mind is a terrible thing to waste in self-pity, self-indulgence, and selfishness. Remind yourself that if attitude isn't everything, it's most of it. Number 14, forget the gibberish that tells you to be nice to secretaries to get ahead. The first rule is, be nice to everyone. The second, to get ahead, you have to work hard. Number 15, if you ever believe you're the only one in a traffic jam, it's time for a break. Stress kills. Before it kills, it maims and numbs and makes you believe you're a put upon or alone in your frustration. Know when to pick those daisies. 16, you can come home again. Remember Lorraine. It's the community that nourished you in your growing years. We want you here as part of our city. You can come home again. Number 17 and last, we love you. And for part of that, I'm indebted to Judith Clabies of the Scripps Howard News Service. And now I'd like to introduce Tom Nikoloff, who's no stranger to the graduating class, 
Tom is the son of Mr. and Mrs. Tom Nikoloff of Highland Park Boulevard. He's president of the National Honor Society, was a member of the, of the team's USA Select Soccer Program, and toured Europe last summer representing the United States. Tom will attend Ohio State University in the Honors Program next fall with a major in architecture. June 5th, 1990. Today marks the end of formal education for some of us and just the beginning for others. But regardless of our plans for the future, we've all shared these past four years together and they'll never be forgotten. Even though the first day of kindergarten may seem just like yesterday, many things have occurred and many changes as well. We've all grown up, made new friends, and gotten an education. Even so, today is much like that first day of school. Many tears were shed then, as many will be today. Then, it was a venture into the world of education. Today, we venture into the world. Now it is time for us to start our own lives. It becomes our responsibility to dedicate ourselves to executing what we've learned at Admiral King in order to become successful. Our parents' job of raising us is over. Our teachers have taught us all they could. Now it's up to us to use all that we've learned. The goal of education is to, to develop a student's potential. After graduation, it's time for the students to apply it, be it at a university or in a workforce. Now we must find the courage to excel, a courage from within ourselves. And we must have faith in ourselves, <laughs> faith that we'll succeed at any cost. Today is like the day that the training wheels are taken off of a bicycle we're learning to ride. Admiral King has given us the potential to keep riding without the training wheels and not fall off. That is not to say that we won't fall, however, but when we do, our courage must overcome our fears and our faith in ourselves must overcome our doubts. We all have the ability to succeed. If we all set out to meet life's challenges, giving our best efforts, only good can come out of it. With courage and faith, the rest will take care of itself. I wish you all the best of luck and peace. Amy Marcuzza is the daughter of Mr. and Mrs. John Marcuzza of North Hogan Drive. She is class valedictorian and a National Merit Competition commended student. Amy is a member of the National Honor Society and a Lozier Scholarship winner. She has earned four academic letters and ten varsity athletic letters and has been captain of five varsity teams over the past two years. Amy has earned an appointment to the United States Military Academy at West Point. Amy Marcuzza. When we were younger, our parents told us what to eat, what to wear, and what we would be doing each day. As we grew older, we were able to make more and more of our own choices. At this point, as we are about to graduate from Admiral King High School, we will have the responsibility of making all of our own decisions. We will choose where to live, what careers we will pursue, and what additional education will be required for these careers. The opportunities for a full, satisfying life are out in the world for us. We have the option of becoming accountants, doctors, lawyers, joining the Army, Navy, Air Force, Marines, or other careers. We must simply take advantage of the variety of fields open to us. It is important to recognize that in the world, there are two types of people. One of them is the I did, and the other is the I should have done. Graduating from high school, we are presently of the I did type. I did graduate. I did get an education. I do have the chance for a good job. Yet, if this is all we do and all we reach for, then we have peaked at 18 years of age. The average person is said to live until 70 years old. If we have no other goals after graduation, 
the next 50 or 60 years we will probably live shall be meaningless. Our future shall be dictated by circumstances, not us, and we shall, and we shall look back and say, I should have done this, or I wish I had tried this, or I could have done this. Each one of us graduates probably holds a dream in our heart. It is our hopes and goals for the future. This dream is also how we want to be seen by others five years from now and even 10 to 20 years from now. If we strive for this dream, if we put effort into our work, and if we are willing to make small sacrifices to achieve our goals, we will create our own future. We will be independent as adults. We will not say, I should have done, or I could have done. We will simply say, I did. Jennifer Wolak of Williamsburg Drive is the daughter of Mrs. Kathleen Wolak and the late John Wolak. She is the president of the senior committee, a member of the National Honor Society, and a recipient of the Dr. Alfred J. Lozier Scholarship, the Anthony V. Thomas Scholarship, the W. O. Larson Foundation Scholarship, and the Lorraine Community Foundation Scholarship. Jennifer will be attending the University of Cincinnati, majoring in chemical engineering. Jennifer Wolak. The graduating class of 1990 faces challenges that few other classes have been faced with before. Rapidly changing technology, the desire to grow culturally, and general concern for the future could easily bring graduates back to Lorraine to help it become that community worth returning to. Whether we plan to further our education in college, in the military, or in the workplace, we should look to Lorraine as an option for our future. As Lorraine looks ahead, it also sees a future for great change. Perhaps in the renovation of the downtown area, the lakefront, the marinas and parks, and most of all, a change in the attitude of the people who do or will live here toward great pride in this community. We can and will do all we can to make Lorraine a better community for future generations. But Lorraine must also do its share of growing and changing to meet our needs. As Lorraine strives and faces up to its challenges, we too <clears throat> shall try and overcome any obstacles in our paths and reach the goals we have set. As we, the graduates, make choices to better ourselves and create opportunities for ourselves, Lorraine must also make de decisions, the right decisions that will open the doors for us to return to live and work in our hometown. Ladies and gentlemen, I am extremely proud to present the Admiral King High School graduating class of 1990. I'd like to now call forward Mrs. Dorothy Anderson for the presentation of diplomas. Mrs. Anderson. This, this year has gone so fast. I hope your senior year has been all you ever dreamed it could be. However, when you wake up in the morning, you will be adults ready to take on some responsibilities and begin to share the burdens of our world. There is no more time to prepare for tomorrow morning. It is coming in less than six hours. Tomorrow, you should have your personal checklist of what you will take into the adult world. Your body is your basic instrument. It will last all of your life with a few parts added here and there. It must be strong enough to sustain the rigors of living. 
Your physical body needs proper nourishment, exercise, and rest. Live a substance abuse free life and keep your body clean with soap and water. <laughs> your mental health should include a positive attitude about yourself, who you are, what you can do, where you come from, and where you wish to go. Life is a series of peaks and valleys designed to help you make decisions. Accent the positives in your life. Live the down times with hope. Each day is a new start or another chance to do something positive for yourself or for your world. Live each day well because that day cannot be lived again. Be honest, hardworking, and expect to get what you work for and plan to work. Develop a will to be happy. Be confident, excited, and creative about your living. Keep your mind clean with good thoughts. Spirituality should have a definite place in your life. You should know that your spiritual strength will sustain you when times are good or not so good. Cultivate friends who believe what you believe spiritually and be strong in your convictions. Remember every time you ask for something, you might not get it because the answer might be no. Your intellectual being should be sharpened and expanded. You can no longer blame Lorraine for anything you did not get here. You need to use your intellect, decide what you need, and begin to prepare yourself to get it. Otherwise, you will waste a lot of time blaming us. Begin in the morning to design your own program of lifelong learning. A few other concerns you could add to your checklist. Choose your friends carefully. Think long and hard about the partner who will share your life's journey. Develop a giving spirit and love your neighbor as you love yourself. Life owes you only what you put into it. Remember, we have to work for peace and an environment that will continue to sustain mankind. So in the morning, I hope you will want your adult life to start with the knowledge of empowerment, a healthy, clean inside and outside body, a healthy, positive mental attitude, a spiritual acknowledgement, and the will to pursue your goals with intellectual wisdom. We love you and expect you to do good and great things. Okay, class, please be seated. And with the first row, please prepare yourself to receive your diplomas. Jennifer Ackerman. Michael Akesey. <clears throat> Tammy Aldridge. Jennifer Alicia. Israel Alvarez. Angela Amato. Erica Anderson. Craig Bansick. Maurice Barnes. Alicia Benson. Robert Benson. Gregory Bernard. James Beverly. Christopher Blanton. Laura Blessing. 
Margaret Boatwright. Julia Bach. Thomas Boggs. Alfonso Borges. Brian Bowman. Robert Braun. Christy Broglio. Jimmy Brown. William Butcher. Stephanie Butcher. Rachel Cayley. Nicole Calhoun. Kimberly Cameron. Valerie Campbell. Clarence Cantu. Marcy Carrico. <coughs> Amy Carter. <laughs> Tina Carver. <laughs> Meredith Schwanski. <laughs> Cynthia Chet. Carl Cercerella, Brian Clark, Christopher Cofield, Catherine Collins, Tamara Collins. Krista Kolvig, Dax Comer, Don Cook, Natasia Cooper, Louis Cruz, William Cruz, Darren Zubak, Darla Dante, Kevin Davis. Amy DeAngelis, Martha DeLeon, Brian DeMarco, Kevin DeSimone, Juan Diaz, Rachel Diaz, Tony Diaz, Nicole Drummond, Don Duffy, Lori Duffy. Steve DeLumba, Jennifer Evans, Heather Factor, Martin Frenzy, Michael Fleury, 
Craig Fox. Jeremy Fraser. Patricia Friedberg. Jeffrey Freeman. Murata Gaddy. Malik Gatewood. Tracy Golick. Anastasia Gorgas. Margaret Gerber. Brandon Gilliam. Michael Gillespie. Nicole Goines. Pete Goldakis. Rosita Gonzalez. Susan Gordon. Christine Grasso. Gia Greco. Michael Grumbos. Sandra Daniels. Santez Hamilton. Connie Harper. David Harrell. Kathleen Hartley. Sabrina Duncan. Scott Hensley. Elizabeth Hicks. Stephen Hicks. Avery Hitchens. Sharla Hitchens. Gary Holmes. Latessa Holmes. Christopher Howard. Sydney Huff. Michael Hutz. Curtis Irby. Belinda Jackson. Lisa Jackson. David Jeffries. Michelle Jeffries. John J. Jones. Beth Callis. Michael Kaplan. Tracy Castle. Stephanie Kasnick. Mary Kayatin. Clifton Gilgore. Daniel Kish. Jay Kiska. 
Richard Kleena. Deborah Kanigny. Rebecca Costco. Robin Kovac. Debbie Kravinko. Andrea Kump. Deborah Cruz. Jennifer Kyle. Maria Laboy. Maggie Lamb. Trisha Lamberty. Melissa Lavish. Jennifer Lee. Michelle Lehner. Colin Lewis. Anissa Long. Evelyn Lopez. Gregory Lusain. Brian Link. Amy Marcuzza. Rosie Maida. Michael Matejcik. Melanie McCartney. Melissa McCartney. Eddie McCollum. Shannon McDougal. Elizabeth McDowell. Mark McQuaid. Janet Medina. Marcella Meister. Ralph Mettler. Michelle Milam. Matthew Mischik. Irene Montkinese. Renee Morrell. Michelle Marino. Dennis Michael Morris. Daryl Moroski. Deborah Malero. Virginia Mullins. William Rudolph. Michael Music. Anissa Neely. Joseph Nelson. Thomas Nikoloff. Roberto Nieves. Jay Namini. Cyril Nolan. Juan Obregon. 
Nancy Ocasio. Christine Ola. Josel Ortiz. Valerie Overton. Daniel Pagui. Shannon Payne. Jeannie Patterson. Kurt Pavlich. Thomas Pelter. Cynthia Perez. Ferdinand Pfizer. Todd Phillips. Jeff Pilblad. Jason Pulaski. Aaron Preston. Gerald Proy. Melissa Pugh. Joseph Rasho. Isana Ralston. Alberta Rico. Jeanette Rico. Carla Riggins. Melissa Rivera. Thomas Rivera. Carlos Roberson. Charles Robinson. Angel Rodriguez. Holly Roman. Wendy Ross. Pamela Rosso. Michael Rowe. Timothy Runyon. Jennifer Sabo. Jeffrey Sabota. Manuel Santana. James Saunders. Michael Saunders. Cynthia Shiverstein. Willie Shaw. Amy Shaver. Amy Schull. Christine Schuster. Nikki Simmons. Kevin Sapkowski. Stacy Smallwood. Hamilla Smith. Kimberly Smith. Sherry Smith. Naomi Solis. Nicole Sparks. Kimberly Spears. Steven Sturgill. Yumi Sudo. 
Richard Saikuda. Leavette Tarpley. Clarence Thomas. Michelle Thomas. Joseph Todd. John Tukarsik. Amy Turbett. Julie Tilka. Christopher Valadez. Regina Van Winkle. Sean Vargo. Latanya Vaughn. Paul Vazer. Adrian Velez. Jennifer Vickers. Mark Bullock. Troy Wardell. Arthur Wyrick. Natalie Welch. Alyssa Williams. Kenosha Williams. Chandra Williams. Deborah Wilson. Tina Witt. Carol Winnick. Jennifer Wolak. Terry Wolf. Scott Wolf. Catherine Waltman. Stephen Woolage. Monty Wyrick. Erica Yancey. Thomas Jovan. Todd Zaborowski. Denise Zagutny. Valerie Zalik. And Monica Zilka. Okay, congratulations, class. Deserve a round of applause. Okay, if we can find our seats. 
we will call upon Reverend Scythe, who will give us our benediction. Shall we stand together for the benediction? And I would like to extend to the class my uh, thanks for the privilege of sharing in this experience and uh, to give them a word of thanks. It was a real inspiration to just watch you as a class this morning as you prepared for this evening. And I was one of the last cars out of the parking lot and I must say I was really impressed with your patience and courtesy as you allowed each other to exit through that uh, small opening out onto Oberlin and maybe all of us can follow your example tonight as we leave. Uh, as we say thanks for this night and I really say to our young people, uh, how does it feel to be an answer to prayer? And certainly you are in many of our lives. Uh, last week, uh, we had an exciting interfaith celebration of Pentecost. And I came across this description of Pentecost that I think is uh, apropos for this uh, young group of young people as they look forward to go into the world with all the energy that they have. Let us pray together, shall we? Mighty wind, heavenly hurricane, firestorm of the spirit, a linguistic miracle, babel turned to music, God's people in harmony. Now you're talking my language, they said, or so it seemed. It was the voice of God translating the spirit of promise the stuff of dreams and visions, amazing, perplexing, moments of saving grace, summed up in one word, windstorm. And now unto him who is able to keep you from falling and able to present you faultless before the presence of his grace with exceeding joy, to the only wise God, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, now and ever out throughout your life. Amen. graduation ceremonies here at George Daniel Field. Please join us again tomorrow for graduation for Lorraine High School. Night.